Dog Market receiving a mega dumpulation just moments after breaching the $4,000 level on the SPX. Moonboys run for cover as Bitcoin drops to its lowest levels in nearly a day and a half. But the biggest switcheroo, reach around, fake out, mommy make out hasn't even begun. So sit down, take off your socks, sniff them, and think about your ex-girlfriend because it's time to become billionaire. Right now, the price of Bitcoin is facing some very turbulent winds as as PPI numbers came back, potentially signaling something that could end up being very bullish in terms of Fed, the Fed's aggressive stance towards these inflation, uh, tackling inflation. Uh, but something even much bigger is going on as well, as we're seeing the stock market have a little bit of a dumpy doodah today. And that's pretty much going to be the biggest thing that we're going to be looking at. And specifically as well, there was just moments ago a announcement by the DOJ about a Bitcoin related thing where they shut down some kind of uh, exchange that nobody cares about, nobody knows about. I mean, really, I don't understand why it was an announcement. And the price absolutely did not react to it whatsoever. And in fact, it's pretty much a nothing, uh, nothing burger, as they would call it. Just basically complete turkey gobble. And that's what we're dealing with here. But first, I want to mention that BitGet here is the first CEX to launch copy trading in the spot market. Right. And so this has been something uh, the spot trading has been big on BitGet for uh, weeks and weeks and months now. However, uh, now copy trading is also available on BitGet as well. You can basically follow these traders, uh, spot traders, not using derivatives, not using leverage and um, copy their trades on spot, which is obviously a far less risky option for trading. So obviously, if your risk is lower, the rewards will not be as high. However, again, it is a much safer way of trading. So if you are interested in even signing up, it takes 30 seconds using my link below. In addition, massive deposit bonuses uh, using my link below and as well, zero fees for spot trading. But really dumping on into this right now, Bitcoin is at a very precarious position as we at, over the past week, we have busted through some very key weekly and daily moving averages for the crypto space. And most importantly, the stock market is it's had a triple a triple dip, if you like to call it a triple tip. Uh, triple tip slip if you actually want to really dive into it here where we've touched on this uh, long-term resistance line for the most time I mean we basically in the past month and a half we've touched on it as much as we did the previous entire year basically uh, where we had like one touch one touch one touch and now we've had three just within like rapid fire retests here which is really showing the momentum wants to swing up here but we did get a sharp rejection today in fact earlier we we went significantly above four thousand and then very quickly got dumped below it. And so this is very big and absolutely is affecting the crypto market as well. Uh, we take a look at Bitcoin. It is right now still at this very second above 2K, but there are some things I really want to look at. So first off uh, here, Bitcoin, the super trend on the five day chart posted here by Titan of Crypto. When this flashed a buy signal on the five day time frame in early 2019, uh, Bitcoin went up about 250 percent. That was the basically bear market relief rally, which is a very similar position that I believe we're in now. And again, are we about to see a continued relief here? But again, as I've been saying since this move started, I absolutely believe there's going to be ups and downs and, and fake outs along the way here. It's not just going to be straight up. And this looks to me like potentially the first setup of a potential uh, bear trap if this is a multi week relief rally. And that's something, again, we're going to be diving into further here. But I did want to highlight the PPI numbers came down, came today at 6.2%. Expectations were at 6.8. Uh, core PPI comes in at 5.5 and expectation was 5, meaning that uh, those were misses in terms of expectation. And this could be bullish because this potentially signals that the rate hikes that the Fed is doing is having a greater effect than maybe they thought. And this potentially could signal that we will need less aggressiveness in the future. What does that mean? Maybe lower rate hikes or a pivot in general, or just, you know, a stopping completely of rate hikes. And this could be good here. And so, uh, again, uh, actually, uh, I don't know if my friend's watching this, but I actually just found out like an hour ago that he was laid off, right? He has a tech job. And I believe we're hearing a lot about this. I'm seeing a lot of people actually in similar situations. I, you know, there's a lot going on slowly that you can see in terms of housing, even used cars, all of that. It looks like the rate hikes really are working. It looks like the economy really is slowing. And that's basically the point here. Now, again, the Fed does not want to stop being so aggressive too early and risk inflation coming back worse than before. So, they're 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 walking a tightrope there but i think that over the next two months we are going to see pretty drastic a pretty continued drastic slowdown of the economy and that is where they need to be careful uh with they need to be careful not to destroy the economy which again as i've been stating over and over they said that they would rather do that 
than risk uh, inflation becoming entrenched because those are the two options inflation becoming permanent or bringing the economy basically to almost being destroyed and then trying to resurrect it. And they're going the route, and they said they were going to do this, they're going the route of destroying the economy and then maybe trying to resurrect it. So right now, I think right now, this month, n- next month, these are the these are the moments where we're potentially going to see that maybe these rate hikes are really, really slowing down things, maybe even a little too much. And again, that could slow down and, and, and uh, pretty much bring a pivot sooner than a lot of people were expecting. Um, now, does that mean Bitcoin's going to pump immediately? I don't think anyone knows. History would tell us something different. But again, this is kind of a unique time here. Um, but yeah, if we take a look at Bitcoin's daily chart, actually, let's start here. Let's start here on the daily or the one hour chart. We're obviously within a slightly upwards ascending, uh, pretty much crab pattern here, where it's just going sideways. And, um, you know, if you would have drawn this as a potential rising uh, or ascending triangle, we were, we broke down out of it just over the last few hours here. Um, but realistically, Bitcoin has some big support below it. We're above the 200 day, the 21 and 50 day moving averages. The 200 day is about 195. Uh, in my opinion, going to be a very big level of support. If we pull out the VPVR, you can see that's exactly where the point of control is, right around 19.3. So, I mean, right at that, pretty much that level, a lot of volume comes in there. And so um, Bitcoin has support below us. I do think that we will see sub 20K prices, but that doesn't mean that a new low is coming, in fact, right? I still absolutely believe we could be in the middle of a multi-week and month rally, relief rally to the upside for Bitcoin, not a new bull market, but a multi, uh, multi-week multi relief rally that also has us at some point going back below 20k. I think that's totally reasonable. In fact, we're a thousand dollars away from it. So to say it's impossible makes no sense. It's very possible. It's something you gotta watch out for. At which point I would be pretty much looking to add to my long positions, add to my trades if that were to happen. And realistically as well, it, it makes complete sense in my opinion that we're running into resistance right at the top of this potentially the biggest falling wedge pattern we've ever seen, which we've been talking about on this channel for three months now. We had this as a falling wedge for like the past three months. And ever since breaking the heart line right around 18.5, uh, I think, I mean, obviously this 21, 21.5 and $22,000 level is going to be resistance here. If this ultimately does become a mega breakout, it will have so much juice. And I just don't know if we're at the... I just, I personally don't think we're at the point where the, uh, like a mega breakout like this is totally realistic yet. But if a few more things change in terms of uh, the macroeconomic outlook, even some inflation numbers we're seeing, I think could be helpful towards this actually happening because we're seeing inflation actually, uh, you know, we're seeing numbers come back showing the rate hikes are working. And again, this I think becomes a possibility. But again, we also have the 21 week moving average right here at about 18.8. So about 19,000. So again, I, I, I think 19,000 has a lot of support, the 19 to 19.5 thousand dollar levels. They do. This, the uh, DXY continues, it's heading towards its next low right here. It pretty much uh, taking us all the way back to May of 2022 in terms of where it started pumping there. And um, again, I just think it's very critical that most likely, or most importantly, the stock market um, gets some momentum here. Because I don't think Bitcoin can have a big breakout if the stock market really gets a giant rejection here. And so far, it is continuing to get, continuing to get rejected. And that so far is bringing Bitcoin back below 21,000. And it could bring it back below 20K as well, depending on how violently the stock market gets dumped on here. The uh, 50-day moving average is right at about 20, or sorry, at about 39.20, and then 38.75 is the 50-day moving average, and these are just very big levels to watch the stock market to see if it can hold, because again, the structure is a little bit different than we have seen in the past in terms of breaking back above these moving averages and re reattempting again these gigantic, uh, or this gigantic resistance line that has been very strong resistance for quite a large amount of time now, here, here, and here. So again, a uh, very big moment for the stock market. And um, pretty much that absolutely will have a huge impact on Bitcoin. And we're seeing that happen right now. Bitcoin would be doing pretty well right now if the stock market was at least even just holding around 4K. But right now it's down uh, significantly below that. So you guys, you know, make sure to like, subscribe, turn on those ghost notifications so this is absolutely time sensitive alerts as well. If you're interested in joining our ADA pool uh, where you can earn free ADA as well as I believe we have three other 
uh, drops available claimed through dripdrops.io that you can claim there for free as well. Uh, you can check the link to my website in the description if you want the details on specifically what they are. Tons of extra tokens aside from just ADA that you get for free when you stake with our ADA pool. Um, and as well, if you are interested in trading, again, BitGet is a great option. Uh, the link is in the description below. And copy trading on spot is available now, which is just huge. The first centralized exchange offering that. And as well, uh, Bybit and BitGet signing up with the links below, you will get zero trading fees for spot trading. Just absolutely massive. You know, why trade spot anywhere else if you can get zero fees for trading? Without any further ado, it's for me.